Hello there, future doctors. It's Dr. Rana back here to shed some light on a very hot topic these days, the comparison between a career in medicine and dentistry. Today, we'll put an end to the age old debate and determine which career reigns supreme. And if you're anything like me, you probably grew up envisioning yourself as a doctor, making a significant impact on the world, having good work-life balance, enjoying generous compensation, and finding fulfillment in your work. If you've been struggling with the choice between these two professions, considering all these factors and more, then this video is for you. While medicine is often the default choice for many, it's crucial to explore all your options and find what truly suits you. So today I will walk you through the benefits, challenges, and endless possibilities that await you in both dentistry and medicine. And I truly believe every minute of this video will help you in making a more informed decision and could have a major impact on your future. We'll explore the positives and negatives of both dentistry and medicine and ultimately determine which is the best job in healthcare. Considering whether to pursue a career in dentistry or medicine, it's often crucial to evaluate what you really want in life. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Simply put, dentists enjoy an amazing work-life balance. In the United States, dentists typically work four days a week, clinically dedicating only 32 hours. This allows for tons of time to embark on weekend getaways with your friends, attend the extracurricular activities of your future children, indulge in any of your passions, or simply explore various restaurants late into the night. Getting tired and want two weeks off? Simply shut down your practice and embark on a trip to Spain. After all, you're the boss. I know tons of dentists who successfully manage to do this all the time. And I would hope that work-life balance matters to you in some regard. And if it doesn't, then just stick to medicine. We dentists like to enjoy our free time way too much. But when you're a private practice owner, you get greater control over your work schedule. As the boss, you tailor your work to your own lifestyle. Night owl like myself? Then consider opening your practice at 10 a.m. every day to sleep in. The flexibility within dentistry is truly remarkable. Us dentists aren't burdened with overnight shifts or being on call. Dentists can eventually design their schedules around their personal lives while enjoying their downtime without constant pressure. And since most dental emergencies can be temporarily managed with over-the-counter pain medication until the next available appointment, you don't need to worry about emergency phone calls late into the night. And I'm telling y'all, there's truly very few professions that offer this kind of lifestyle. Dentistry offers an incredible hands-on experience. For me, this aspect brings an immense amount of excitement to me as I step into work every single day. And if you're someone who enjoys working with something besides a boring computer all day, it's like a dream come true. The opportunity to utilize your abilities to perform surgical procedures, that literally brings smiles to people's faces. It makes work interactive and different every day as no tooth is the same. However, even if you don't consider yourself naturally handsy, don't worry. Guess who has two thumbs and was never good with their hands before becoming a doctor? This guy. I never played an instrument, was never really much of an artist, and I never really used tools to build things growing up. And now, I'm able to surgically extract impacted wisdom teeth in the back of people's jaws with the utmost precision. Guys, dentistry is a learned craft and nobody starts out as an expert, but with practice, anyone can acquire the fundamental mechanics of dentistry. Don't let the lack of hand skills deter you. What makes dentistry truly special is the satisfying blend of creativity and precision that's hard to find in medicine. The work you envision in your mind actually comes to life. It's art meets surgery where you can create something both beautiful and functional using your technical skills. And as a dentist, you get to use some pretty cool equipment from dental drills to 3D printers, digital scanners, and you can even jump into high resolution photography. And you also get to work with various materials such as flowable resins, porcelain, and gold to craft lifelike restorations that closely resemble one of nature's most beautiful creations. In essence, dentistry provides a platform where you can express your creativity and expertise in a hands-on manner. It's a pretty fulfilling experience that Few other jobs can match. All right, now we live in a very fast paced world where you can order any item in the world and have it shipped to your house within one or two days. Well, dentistry offers an incredible advantage over medicine when it comes to having an instantaneous impact. As a dentist, you possess the ability to alleviate someone's pain on the very same day using your surgical training as opposed to our MD buddies who just scribble down some medications on a prescription and pray it works. Oh, it didn't work? Ah, uh, we'll just send you off to a specialist to deal with it. The gratification of witnessing change right before your eyes is simply unparalleled. There is nothing quite as satisfying as seeing your patient who was once embarrassed by their smile undergo a dramatic life-changing experience. Or even when a patient comes in with tooth pain. Guys, tooth pain hits different. 
If you've never experienced symptoms of a necrotic pulp, consider yourself blessed. Because I hear stories of how patients say it feels daily. One out of 10, 20. It's like somebody stabbing my brain with an ice pick every 20 minutes. I've had two C-sections and this is by far the worst pain I've ever felt. Dentistry's unique capacity for instant and immediate relief truly differentiates itself and brings me immense satisfaction. All right, so I joined dentistry because I myself am a people person. Human connection is truly what makes me happy. So with my job, I'm able to interact with people and can also create long-term relationships with my patients since we see them typically twice a year. And this is contrary to those one-off encounters as often seen in medicine, whenever something feels really wrong. This unique aspect of dentistry involves witnessing familiar faces returning to your practice over the years. And it allows you to truly be an integral part of people's lives. In essence, you become an extension of their family, almost like a trusted guardian of their smiles. From childhood to adulthood, through various life stages, you are there as a constant source of support and guidance. Each visit becomes more than just a routine dental appointment but an opportunity to catch up, share stories, and continue the journey together. I always get a kick out of seeing my friends come into my practice to visit me. It keeps things fun and interesting. And being the dentist for all my friends and family, I love the fact that I get to have that one-on-one -on -one encounter with all my close relatives and friends. Because you see the overall quality of your patient's lives getting better and better as you're treating them. And this constant connection to patients definitely backfires with those pain in the butt patients, but let's not talk about that today. And in terms of pay, dentists can enjoy the potential for a higher compensation compared to our medical doctor colleagues due to the uniqueness of our profession. While medical doctors have a higher minimum income threshold, dentists have a greater earning potential. As a private practice dentist, you have the ability to gradually establish control over your pricing. In contrast, medical doctors are typically tied to a fixed salary dictated by the hospital system they work for, as it's less common for doctors to have their own private practices in medicine. This autonomy in setting prices allows dentists to eventually distance themselves from insurance-based reimbursements that often lead to lower fees. Instead, dentists can focus on offering high-end elective procedures, such as dental implants and veneers, which are not only personally fulfilling, but also really financially rewarding. And I know the most rewarding feeling for me personally is when I see you smash that like button so more people can see this video. But okay, okay, all right. Make no mistake about it. Medical doctors treat the entire human body and dentists are just fixing those little calcified stones in somebody's mouth. Physicians have a significantly broader and deeper influence on individuals and society as a whole. The scope and reach of their work, combined with the critical nature of their interventions, I admit to them having a greater impact on patients' lives. Because typically when you're seeing a physician, it's something a little more serious than you not liking the color of your teeth or a little chip on your front tooth. Medical doctors have the opportunity to diagnose and treat a vast range of illnesses and conditions and we're talking about life-threatening conditions. A huge pro to choosing medicine is that it offers a much bigger scope of options to explore in terms of specialization. Whether your passion lies in surgery, pediatrics, internal medicine, dermatology, the list goes on and on, and it definitely offers more options than dentistry. I think there's like over 24 specialties of medicine to pick from. And hey, I'm always on record saying that dentists are surgeons, but MD surgeons are doing massively complex surgeries on very serious parts of the body necessary for survival. You can live without a tooth. A heart? Uh, not so much. And physicians have the potential to save lives, which can provide a deep level of fulfillment. So if for some reason you wanna have people's literal lives resting in your hands and having that weigh on your mental daily, then hey, I think we found a career for you. But physicians also play an important role in advancing medical research, allowing the creation of new drugs, and finding ways for humans to live longer altogether. And these breakthroughs have the potential to revolutionize the world and improve the well-being of countless individuals. And hey, if you wanna spend your entire life wanting to become a doctor to reach the finish line, only to spend the remaining days on this planet in a lab pipetting endlessly in hopes that your drug makes it through clinical phase one trials before you retire, then we might have found a great job for you. And when it comes to payment, medical doctors generally have a higher salary compared to dentists. If you value stability, prefer the structured environment of a hospital setting, and desire a fixed schedule without the need to invest significantly more effort to achieve a higher compensation, then a career in medicine is an excellent choice. Furthermore, if you have the aspiration to become a surgeon and are willing to invest an additional decade of your life into specialized training in order to be allowed to hold a scalpel as a doctor, the potential to earn some serious money lies within medicine. Lastly, physicians are simply more respected than dentists. Guys, if you follow my content, you know that I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm always giving you the raw, unfiltered version of everything I see in my life. 
I haven't felt this too often except for the occasional Florida man who looks like Tiger King with his missing front teeth and rampant periodontal disease telling me how I'm not a real doctor. By all means, I'm not here to shy away from the truth. And people are way less afraid to see a physician than a dentist too. Like, I guess we're just overall hated by everybody. Well, that's fantastic. Looks like you've already had your decision made up, guys. All right, well. And how about we start with the negatives of the more respected profession, shall we? The path to becoming a physician is undeniably more challenging than being a dentist. It requires achieving a much higher GPA, undergoing more rigorous schooling, and facing fierce competition among a larger pool of applicants. Guys, you have to take that monster MCAT exam that makes the people who take the DAT look like they graduated from Weenie Hut General. It is a hard road to go down. And the demanding journey doesn't end once you gain admission to medical school. As you strive for hitting A's on every exam, board, and shelf score to enhance your chances into matching into your dream specialty. Even with your utmost dedication, there's no guarantee of securing your first choice specialty, which is a sad reality faced by many medical students around the world. Furthermore, medical doctors are obligated to complete a mandatory minimum residency of three years after medical school, while dentistry doesn't require such a commitment. I was able to come out of school and make much more than what an average MD makes in my first year. So overall, this extensive time investment and stress during your formative years shouldn't be overlooked. And what's in that pot at the end of the rainbow that you dedicated an entire decade of hard work for? A more stressful career as you're shackled to the demands of the hospital that employs you. As a hospital doctor, you are faced with a grueling lifestyle and long work hours. You bear the weight of immense responsibility, making critical life and death decisions and managing chronic illnesses. You know what happens when a dentist messes up really badly? We pull the tooth out and give the patient a new tooth with an implant. You know what happens when an MD messes up really badly? Patient dies. Nope, no thank you. I'm not even 30 yet, and I think I'm way too old to already deal with stress like that. Now let's switch over to the negatives about dentistry. Guys, I cannot lie. After doing a lot of research, I've come to the conclusion that there really are no downsides to being a dentist. So I'd like to wrap up the discussion here and thank you all for watching and please hit that like button. Psych, just kidding, Cap. Just playing around, I can honestly write a book about the negatives of being a dentist. <laughs> dentistry comes with its own set of challenges and drawbacks that definitely need to be mentioned here. Number one, teeth are gross. Yes, I said it. It seems to be the number one factor that influences kids when choosing between medicine and dentistry is their personal distaste towards teeth and the oral cavity. Dentistry does have a more narrow range of scope compared to medicine. And I can see how general dentistry in particular can start to feel mundane and routine as you start to perform similar treatments on a daily basis. But I believe that they can also be a canvas to create beauty. I find the ability to create beauty from the chaos to be a superpower we possess. Our work is literally a billboard on a person's face. The epitome of joy and happiness is literally a smile. And yeah, it can be off-putting to catch a whiff of the perio poppy the first thing in the morning, but I'm sure even if you're joining medicine, you're gonna see some pretty gross stuff. Now, the cost of dental education is simply ridiculous these days, and it's much higher than compared to medical education, to the point where it may seem unreasonable to become a dentist these days. This discrepancy arises from the fact that tuition rates in dental schools are typically not subsidized by affiliated hospitals, unlike some medical schools. Also, the overhead in running a dental school, the supplies and equipment usage is substantial. I remember in my first year of dental school, I used to grab like 12 burrs and like six packs of bond until I started practicing and realizing how much money I was inadvertently wasting. So as a result, dental professionals often graduate with substantial student loan debt which can create a lot of financial stress and impact their career decisions. At times, dentistry makes me feel like that tube of toothpaste when a person's just trying to get that last bit out, just squeezing you to death. So what I'm trying to say is that dentistry puts a significant amount of physical stress on your body. Constantly crouching over patients can lead to chronic neck, back, and shoulder pain. Furthermore, the mental stress of performing microsurgeries and dealing with the patients who have dental phobias or anxieties adds a whole nother layer of pressure to our jobs. And what's quite sad is that dentistry is often viewed as secondary medical care, leading to a lack of appreciation for the work we do as dentists. Dental care is almost like a commodity these days, and patients are often questioning the cost of dental treatments, whereas this happens far less in medicine. And lastly, starting salaries for dentists tend to be lower compared to physicians. While dentistry offers a higher income ceiling, it takes time and effort to build a successful practice and reach those higher earning levels. Also, your pay in dentistry is highly tied to the procedures you are able to do. 
A dentist who's just doing fillings and crowns all day is gonna have a very different salary than somebody who's doing molar endo, full mouth implants, and high-end cosmetic work. But this is all easier said than done and can take a lot of effort to get there. So this disparity in compensation can present financial challenges for dentists early on, especially when considering the high cost of education and the need to repay student loans. To wrap things up, my beloved future healthcare professionals, the decision between dentistry and medicine is not as cut and dry as you can see. Both paths offer unique opportunities, challenges, and rewards. I hope this video was helpful wherever you are in your journey to solidify the choices you are currently making in your life. While medicine might have a broader scope of practice and the potential to save lives, dentistry offers an amazing work-life balance, hands-on creativity, instantaneous impact, and the potential for higher compensation. These aspects of dentistry, coupled with the joy of creating beautiful smiles and the ability to positively impact people's lives, make it a pretty sweet gig. But I wholeheartedly respect and acknowledge our MD friends and the struggles they have gone through to help the world be a better place. If you can't tell, I joke around a lot, but I am truly grateful for the work they do. With that being said, I absolutely love my job as a dentist and I simply wouldn't trade it for the world. I am always advising kids who reach out to me across the world to join me in this incredible career. So I may be a little biased here, but you already know which career I think takes the crown. However, I must acknowledge that the decision ultimately rests with you. Each of you has your own unique passions, skills, and goals. And it's important to pursue a career that aligns with your true calling. Whether you choose dentistry or medicine, what matters most is that you never try to be a chiropractor because that's not even based on real science. So if you take one thing from this video, it's that I encourage you to keep working hard in school, keep chasing your dreams, and join the profession that ignites a fire within you. Embrace the challenges, and don't forget to have fun and make time for yourself. And always remember the profound impact you can have on this world. This world needs compassionate and skilled healthcare professionals like you. So go out there and get after it. And if you're ever stuck along the way, reach out to me on IG as you'll always have a friend who's guiding you every step of the way. I'll see y'all in the next one. Dr. Rana here, cocking out.